so hi everyone and a very good evening to all of you and welcome back once again to another session of PIB 247 and in today's session guys as usually I will bring to you some more important questions from the PIB news which are relevant for all the government exams and in today's session we are going to cover the news from 14th and 15th April and this way guys I am providing you the content from PIB from the for, for, for the whole month okay? so don't you guys worry about that कि अगर ये वीडियोस अल्टरनेटिवली भी है तो क्या इसके अंदर पूरा कंटेंट आ रहा है कि नहीं आ रहा है सो यू गाइस आर गेटिंग द एंटायर मंथ्स कंटेंट फ्रॉम पीआईबी ऑलराइट सो डोंट वरी अबाउट दैट ऑलराइट एंड लेट्स बिगिन विद द सेशन नाउ बट बिफोर वी बिगिन इफ यू वांट टू एस द आरबीआई ग्रेड बी एग्जाम दिस ईयर यू कैन जॉइन दिस क्रैश कोर्स व्हिच हैज बीन लॉन्च बाय अस एंड इफ यू वांट टू एनरोल इन दिस कोर्स यू कैन डाउनलोड द ऐप नाउ and in this app you can get the daily gk and quizzes all the exam related updates top strategies live video sessions etc etc all right and if you want to ask anything related to examination you can follow me on instagram this is my instagram id and finally if you want to have the pdf of this session you can join the telegram channel the link for which is provided in the description all right so let's begin with the very first question very very important question for the upcoming rbi exam which of the following statements is incorrect with respect to revamped Rashtriya Gram Swaraj Abhiyan? Now, revamped Rashtriya Gram Swaraj Abhiyan is in news because the Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs has approved the continuation of the revamped Rashtriya Gram Swaraj Abhiyan. Now, do remember this revamped Rashtriya Gram Swaraj Abhiyan was launched in the year 2018 and it is being implemented by Ministry of Panchayati Raj. Now, what is the objective? Objective of this scheme guys is to develop the governance capabilities of Panchayati Raj institutions so that they can deliver on the sustainable development goals. Basically, the local governance hai, usko strengthen karne ke liye, that is the objective of this particular scheme. And now it has been extended up to 31st March 2026. Earlier it was launched up to 31st March 2022. And now it has been extended from 1st of April for a period uh, 1st of April 2022 to 31st March 2026. All right. Now for the extended period, the financial outlay is 5911 crore out of which the center's uh, share will be 3700 crore. 3700 crore will be provided by the central government. Okay. Now what is the funding pattern? If it is a normal state, so it is center ratio state 60 ratio 40. If it is a northeastern state, the ratio is 90 ratio 10. While if it is a UT, the 100% funding will be provided by the central government. All right. Now you guys must be wondering that what government is doing under this. Okay. They want to strengthen the local governance, but how they are doing it. So there are various components of this particular program or abhiyan. Like for example, capacity building and training programs are being provided to the PRIs, the Panchayati Raj institutions. Technical support is being provided, program management, strengthening of Gram Sabha, E-enablement of Panchayati Raj, which means you can also say digitalization of Panchayati Raj institution and project based support for economic development is also provided. All right. So this is how government is strengthening the local governance of the country. And now let's come back to the question here. You have to identify the incorrect statement. So it is being implemented by Ministry of Panchayati Raj. This is absolutely correct. And it is headed by Mr. Giriraj Singh. It was launched in 2018. Bilgul sahi baat hai. It has been extended up to 31st March 2026. This is also correct. And the financial outlay for extended period is 1911 crore. No, it is not 1911. It is 5911 crore. So this statement is incorrect, which means option D will be the correct answer, guys, because we have to identify the incorrect statement. All right. And please, uh, during uh, in the exam, while, while giving the exam, please focus on the word correct or incorrect. Whether the question is asking about the correct statement or the incorrect statement. कभी कभार एक दो क्वेश्चन इसी वजह से गलत हो जाते हैं कि हम करेक्ट की जगह इनकरेक्ट मार्क कराते हैं और इनकरेक्ट की जगह करेक्ट और राइट सो प्लीज डोंट डू दैट क्वेश्चन नंबर टू पे चलते हैं विच कंट्री विल साइन एन एमओसी मेमोरेंडम ऑफ कोऑपरेशन विद इंडिया इन द एरिया ऑफ डिसेंट्रलाइज डोमेस्टिक वेस्ट for cooperation in the area of decentralized domestic wastewater management. From India side, it will be signed by the Ministry of Jal Shakti headed by Gajendra Singh Shekhawat. And from Japan side, it will be the Ministry of Environment of Japan. All right. 
and under this uh, MOC, a management council will be formed, and this management council will be responsible for the implementation of this MOC. All right. Now, in this news, you don't have to go into or uh, more details. All right. So here, the correct answer will be what option C, Japan. Japan is the correct answer to this question. Moving ahead to question number three. For what period Government of India and United Nations will sign Government of India United Nations Sustainable Development Cooperation Framework? Now remember guys, this is uh, something which is not new. We already have a co cooperation framework for a period of 2018 to 2022. Now since this framework, this already uh, implemented framework, which is uh, for a period of 2018 to 22, it is in the last year of its implementation. So therefore, uh, the United Nations and Government of India, the, they both have decided to extend the period, uh, to extend this framework for a period of 2023 to 27, yani ki all right. So remember the Niti Aayog and United Nations organized a workshop on the upcoming Government of India, United Nations Sustainable Development Cooperation Framework uh, for a period of 2023 to 27. Now this new framework, uh, aims to align the four pillars of 2020 agenda, which is people, prosperity, planet and participation. All right. And this framework has identified this new framework, the upcoming framework from the year 2023. It has identified six outcome areas, or you can say the six focus areas. And these are health and well-being, nutrition and food, quality education, economic growth and decent work, environment, climate, wash and resilience and empowering people, communities and institutions. All right. So these are the six outcome uh, outcome areas which have been identified the new framework. So therefore, guys, the correct answer will be what option B 2023 to 27. And now let's talk about the question number four direct question. No need to go into the details. Agar question aaya to yehi hoga, isse zyada nahi hoga. Which IIT has signed an MOU with Indian Air Force for various developmental projects to support the requirements of the Indian Air Force. Very easy question, very direct question. This is IIT Madras. Option A is the correct answer. All right. And I will not go into the details because that is not required for your examination. All right. And question number five, the last question for today, government of India in collaboration with which country has organized East Asia summit workshop on illegal unreported and unregulated fishing. Now East Asia summit, ये इसकी कोई for, वैसी मीटिंग नहीं हुई है जो ईयरली मीटिंग होती है या बाय एनुअल मीटिंग होती है उस तरीके की मीटिंग नहीं है इट वाज जस्ट अ वर्कशॉप ऑन इलीगल अनरिपोर्टेड एंड अनरेगुलेटेड फिशिंग एंड रिमेंबर ईस्ट एशिया समिट कंसिस्ट ऑफ 18 मेंबर्स इसके अंदर 18 मेंबर्स हैं एंड ये जो ईस्ट एशिया समिट है बेसिकली इट वाज फॉर्म फॉर सिक्योरिटी कोऑपरेशन टेक्निकल कोऑपरेशन इकोनॉमिक कोऑपरेशन एटसेट्रा बेसिकली फॉर कोऑपरेशन दिस समिट वाज फॉर्मड बी अमंग द 18 मेंबर्स and remember this workshop, this workshop government of India has organized in collaboration with the government of Singapore. Option E is the correct answer. And that's it for the session today. Chote chote paanch news thi aaj, zada kuch thani PIB mein, 14 April mein. So I'll see you in the next session on Monday. Goodbye, take care and God bless. <clears throat>